The genesis of the article was really in the um, around 2005 or six, and we had noticed in our consulting practice that there were a lot of large, sophisticated, well-managed, well-capitalized firms that had been sort of dominant in the industry over many, many decades that had for one reason or the other ceased to exist. That either gone out of business or gotten into financial trouble and been bought by somebody or that something happened to the companies. And so we began to ask ourselves, what happened to these companies? Uh, hence the title of the article, Why Large Contractors Fail. So since 2008 and nine, when the recession sort of ended, it's been another upward market for the last 11 years. So the, the question really is what's different in good times than bad times? And what we've learned is that there's really not much that changes whether the market is bad or whether the market is good. The things that cause companies to fail tend not to be created by exterior events and economic conditions and those kind of things. They tend to be caused within the company. The thing that we were surprised about when we did this study, there was one factor that we didn't anticipate, and that was change. Companies that go through too many changes in too short a period of time inevitably get into trouble. If they go into new markets with new people, with new types of work, with new customers, and new geographies, then too much of that causes the wheels to come off. The company gets overloaded, and then the company gets into serious trouble and sort of loses its way. And that was sort of in 90% of the cases, we found that to be one of the, the underlying causes. The underlying causes of companies going out of business are timeless. Uh, they really don't change. And that's what the research showed, and that's what our conclusions are even today, 10, 12 years later.